When you're asked to describe a data set, there's a couple of different ways you can describe the middle, what we call measures of center. Those options are mean, median, and mode. And a lot of times when you guys see advertisements, they choose a tricky one to, to publish, trying to sway their audiences. Statistics is all about manipulating data to show what you want to show. For example, let's say we were to look at the salaries of the LA Galaxy soccer team. Some of you guys know that Beckham makes millions and millions of dollars, but some of the other guys who are on the same team barely make 17,000, maybe 19,000. They make like a tenth of what Beckham makes. So what happens is that if you were to, to advertise the average salary of the LA Galaxy, the really high value for Beckham, which we call an outlier, would mess up the average. It would actually pull the average larger. Whereas in reality, the average salary for the LA Galaxy isn't very big. It just gets pulled up because when we add them all together, Beckham's high number pulls up the other values. That's why it would be more accurate to, descri to describe that center of salaries using what we call a median. A median is affected if you have a high outlier or, or a low outlier. Median doesn't get affected by that. Let me show you how it's done. The median is the middle value when a list of numbers is arranged from smallest to largest. If there are an even number of values in the list, the median is the average of the middle two values. That'll make a lot more sense once you start looking at example problems, but one way you could remember that median is the middle is by thinking about road medians. If you guys are drivers yet, you probably know what I'm talking about with a road median, right? If you have a road like this and traffic goes like that way and that way, sometimes they have this little median in the middle with flowers and trees and birds. That's a median. It's in the middle. Just like when you make a list of values, the median is the middle value. So keep that in mind when you're doing problems. Also keep that in mind if you go into advertising. You might choose to advertise the average salary instead of the median salary if you have an outlier data that kind of warps your, your data set.